Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I am so thrilled to be speaking with Rachel Avery Connolly today. And she is the founder of a wonderful, wonderful resource called Photoscribe. And it's a resource for photographers like you and me. Look, every once in a while, we get bogged down with so many things to do. And blogging is the last thing we can think of, right? We are so inundated with requests from clients, uh, photo shoots, whatever it is, and we set aside blogging. We never come up, come up with any time for ourselves to blog what we need to be blogging. And Rachel is a huge proponent of blogging, and I'm, I'm like, a, it's like she's like a kindred spirit. So I said, Rachel, let's talk about this because we need to tell our photographer friends in the industry that they should blog. They have to blog to get their business known. Rachel, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, blogging is something I am very passionate about, especially within the photography industry. So let's rewind a bit. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in this business. I mean, you're not a photographer, right? Not anymore. So I was. I was a portrait photographer okay. and I was immersed in the Boston photography scene here where I live. And I was really fortunate to make some amazing friends and um, build a community. Um, but I wasn't loving what I was doing. What I was loving was I love to help photographers with their WordPress website. So I thought I would start there. And then the question I always got was, can you just blog for me? And I'd say, no, it has to be your voice. It has to be your, your unique point of view as an artist. And I really, really believe that. But then I thought, well, why can't I blog for them? So I developed a system of forms and a system, so a way to make f blogging for photographers a, a business task. So the forms allow the photographer to still retain their unique point of view and then we schedule it for once a week at the same day and the same time and by doing that at the once a week at the same day and the same time a photographer's organic SEO flies through the roof because you're in essence blogging for the robots the Google robots that make up more than 60 percent of the, re the web so I, I have a system where you can add your voice and still you know blog for the algorithms and that's how it started, and it's been about two and a half years now, and I've done over 2,000 blogs for photographers. So, oh, wow. Yeah, I know. Every genre you can imagine I've done, and I have loved every one of them. That's fantastic. Wow. Uh, you know, this is such a helpful resource for photographers, as I said in the introduction. The people are inundated. They're, they're, they don't have the time, and this is something that they can outsource, essentially, right? Correct. But not entirely. They still right. need to do some of the work, and then they pass it off to you and your team, and they take it up and finish up the blog post on time, right? Right. So Photoscribe, and that's Photoscribe with an F, F-O-T-O-S-K-R-I-B-E, because <laughs> I had to make it difficult, of course. <laughs> um, so Photoscribe is a blogging service. So you can go and hire a writer as a photographer and a writer will hand you back a, a written blog post and then you upload your images etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, what I found is that the pain points wasn't necessarily the writing although that's a part of it but it's also scheduling and putting it into WordPress or Squarespace or whatever your blog platform may be keywording it making sure that you know the Yoast SEO plugin if you're in WordPress is going green um, so we do all of that for you so instead of taking you know, hours to create one blog post, you're taking 15 minutes to fill out a form and upload the images. Um, and then we do the rest. So I have a really amazing team that I work with. And yeah, it's been an incredible journey, um, an incredible journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's, uh, that's really, tr truly uh, a remarkable uh, for, for you to have set this up for so many photographers. Um, you've just come out with a new tool. Tell yes. us about this new tool and why that's possibly the next step for photographers so the biggest thing that I was hearing was oh I love it but I just I'm not ready to let go of control but I'm still not blogging and I said that's absolutely so my main goal is I want to help photographers blog in whatever form because it's so important for your business it's so important for it's a way for clients to get to know you before they book it's a place for clients after they book to come back and visit and appreciate what you've done for them so there's only good things so the product that I've created outside of Photoscribe is called story first blogging and it is the entire system that we use 
available for you to do yourself. So it's the forms, it's the client questionnaires, and we've done those in conjunction with Pencil and Lens, which is a, an amazing email template um, company also based in Connecticut. Um, and then, so you get the client questionnaires, you get the forms, you get a scheduling tool, and, and then there's a worksheet to bring it all together. So those, how you turn those forms into a story first blog with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, so that's, that's what's out there and what's available now, because what I'm hoping is that photographers will download it and use it and get on a schedule and get going because once you're in the rhythm of it, it, it really is. It's just, it's, it's just part of your workflow. You know, you, you edit the images, you upload them to your blog. It's just part of the workflow. So it's just getting going. Right. I, and this is something I tell uh, photographers I meet, uh, whether at conferences or workshops or whatever. It's, you know, those photographers who are nervous about blogging or just not sure about where to get started, I always tell them, uh, if you were to do this once a week, a year from now, you would have 52 blog exactly. posts. Exactly, yep. 52 blog posts all pointing back to your own work, your own website, giving you authority in your niche. Yep. Uh, it's impossible to do that any other way, really. And right. I think this is the power of blogging. Is, is that what you tell your, your, I guess, your your clients to be that listen this is why blogging is so important what is it how do you yeah. convince them blogging is important well i th most of them come to me convinced because of the education that people like you are doing and you know there there's such a conversation happening around blogging and social media and content marketing right now so i think the timing was right for this business to sort of begin um but I think the other thing is exactly what you said. By breaking it down to once a week blogging, you know, that is 52 weeks. And if you take off two weeks for Christmas and, new, you know, whatever, the holidays, yeah. um, that's 50 weeks. So say you shoot 20 weddings. So there's 20 blog posts. Maybe there's 15 engagement sessions. So that's 35. And then you sprinkle in a few personal posts, a birthday post, or a St. Patty's Day. We were just talking about green beer, that's right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, up. Right. Yeah. So um, those kinds of personal posts are, and then a few marketing type posts, um, which are if you have a favorite venue that you want to feature, or if there is, if you're a newborn photographer, if there is uh, a vendor that you use for all of your newborn, you feature that with your images. Those are the more marketing type blogs. So 30 weddings or 20 weddings, 15 engagements, that's 35, five personal gets you 40, 10 marketing, that you're at 50 already. And you really haven't that's had right. to you know, do a lot of work to get there because 35 of those were really just your shoots. So they were images that you already had and clients' words that you already knew. Um, you know, it, when you break it down, it's not as big of a task as it feels like at the beginning. Uh, the new tool that you've just launched, uh, story, story, story First Blogging. Story first blogging. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a mouthful, but storytelling seems to be the thing to get into right now. Uh, yes. Why why is storytelling so important? Because people expect stories. We we live in a culture where um, you know people have grown up with reading books, but more importantly or more relevant, I would say, we're all grown up with this age of TV and movies, and those are always stories. You know, the the best way to become a storyteller is to study cine cinematography and movie storytelling because they've made it into a science, a, a very, very, you know, lucrative science, obviously. Obviously, yes. But as photographers, we have half of that done with the images. And so what you're trying to do in a blog post is to pull the images and your client's story in time along with your story as a photographer, maybe some technical details, maybe some connection you had with the client. And, and by combining those, you really can make a story blog. And then people come to it because it's a story, they enjoy reading it or perusing it because your images are part of the story. And they walk away feeling completed, feeling, you know, there was a beginning, there was a middle, and there was an end. And wow, did they connect or not connect, which is okay too because that means they're not your target client. But they walk away saying like, wow, I feel complete. And, and you don't get that in today's social media age a lot anymore. You know, the BuzzFeed articles, actually they're pretty well written, but, you know, some of the clickbaity articles, you, you're kind of like, well, what was that? But when you feel, when you get a complete story, you really feel it. You don't know you feel it because it's very like internal and sort of, uh, you know, based on your own background and stuff. But it, it is powerful. Well, one of the things I think 
makes storytelling so important is because when you do tell a story and you do so well, it becomes memorable. Yes, that is a great way to put it. And I think one of the things that uh, your audience may uh, be seeking you out for is to have those memories made, I guess, in a way yep. uh, that only you can make it. And it, the more you can tell a story and do it well, uh, the more they're going to seek you out every single time they're looking for that opportunity to, to have their own story told, right? Right. And when you say you, you're not talking about me, you're talking about the photographer. Because I right. really believe right. photographers are inherent storytellers. Because I think to pick up a camera and to capture the moments that you have to ca capture, whether it be a wedding, a newborn session, or even like a mini session for a family, you know, you're capturing that moment in time. So you as a photographer are a storyteller. It's just finding a way to arrange it on your blog so that everyone else can see what you saw. The thing that you offer, whether it's Photoscribe or uh, Story First blogging, is that you are a text person. And photographers will tell you straight up, their first objection is, I don't know how to write. And that's what you take care of, right? You take, well, you take, so care, of, you take care of uh, some of the writing, at least. Yes, so we do, and we and I have an amazing team of writers. I personally am not a text person. I am a visual person. I am a storyteller. Again, my background is in um, television production. So I have, came to it with a unique point of view that I didn't see it from a writer point of view. I saw it from the photography point of view. And it's been interesting to work with writers now um, because I kind of have to, they either get that or they don't. And some writers, because writing in and of itself is an art, so it's merging, you know, making sure that the writer's art isn't overtaking the photographer's art. And that's why Photoscribe is more of a blogging service because we focus on every aspect. And story first blogging is the same way. It really focuses on helping you get the words out, but the words are only a portion of what makes blogging successful. Oh, that's great advice you know? right there. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thanks for thanks for correcting me, I should say. Because no. <laughs> I think one of the things I had in your, in my mind is that you take care of just the writing part of it. And, right. and uh, clearly you are doing a whole lot more for photographers uh, than just putting the text together or the stories right. together. Right. Um, when does this launch? And t tell us a little bit about your newest uh, partnership. I think we talked about it before yes. when we were before we started recording, but it's exciting that you're working with Tamara Lackey. Tell us a yes. little bit more about that, please. So Tamara Lackey is an innovator in the photography space, and she has started a nonprofit called Beautiful Together, and it's helping families in the adoption process before and after and, you know, really helping children that don't have a lot of resources that we do. So I really believe in what she's doing, and I really believe that she's helping families find their stories. So I couldn't think of a better collaboration. So. Um, if you purchase Story First Blogging and you use the code Beautiful Together, all one word, 50% of the proceeds will actually go to the Beautiful Together charity. And yeah, it, wow. it, for me, it was a no-brainer. It was, you know, I had been working with Tamara for a while and I was really fortunate to help her with some of her blogging. She Again, she does her own writing because she's so... She's good. very good. She, oh, she's so very, good very with good. her words. But yeah. again, it was helping with the schedule and, you know, all the other stuff that um, we could I could take off her plate. So I took everything I could except for the writing and the images because <laughs> those are uniquely her art. Um, but I got to see the beautiful together and the work she was doing on the ground and really... When Story First launched, I, I was able to donate so, everything that I had to that point, and I immediately got another sale. Like it was not even sixty seconds later, and I felt like that was the universe's a big sign saying, like, you know what, this is worthwhile. This is something that you can help with, so do it. There you go. <laughs> so I couldn't be happier. So again, if you purchase Story First Blogging, which is StoryFirstBlogging.com, and use the code Beautiful Together, all one word. 50% of the proceeds will go directly to Beautiful Together. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. This is good. This is really important, important stuff for photographers. If you're paying attention at all to your business uh, yeah. and you have a blog or you've been contemplating, you know, writing, posting pictures, whatever it is, uh, check out Story First Blogging uh, and check out Photoscribe as well because, hey, you know, you never know. You can just pass off all the work to yeah. Rachel and her team and they'll take care of you and they'll yes. they'll do a great job. Uh, they've worked with 
uh, photographers. They've worked with businesses as well. Uh, yep. It's your your story is phenomenal, by the way. Your your oh, you, thank you. <laughs> your, it's the labor of love because I really love photographers as sure. friends. Yeah, and so I've gotten to know you know outside again of the b- local Boston community, I've gotten right. to know the New England community, and then I've gotten to know the United States, and then I have clients in Canada, in the UK, and I love how we're all photographers. We all have these unique stories that are the same, but at the same time, there's differences because every person is different. Every photographer has their own story. So it's getting those little tidbits across in your blog and then having clients relate to you. Like, I love that stuff. So awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Rachel, thanks for joining us today uh, and giving us a little glimpse of what your uh, business is doing now uh, to help photographers really be better photographers and better business people. I think that's important. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Take care. Bye.